Hey guys, Terry here from Hummel. Just wanted to do a quick video on a choke, a manual choke setup we have here for the Zenith carbs uh, on the 45 horse engine. And uh, of course the four cylinder engines is difficult to prime them the way we have in the past, the old fashioned way, like Maury taught us to pump them back into compression. Uh, that doesn't work real well with the bigger displacement engines. So we have to have a manual choke. And of course, the ultralight, we don't want to add a bunch of weight to, so we come up with something real simple. I don't think this is really Hummel's idea. We got it from one of the builders, I think, but certainly wanted to pass it along. So here's a standard Zenith carburetor with a choke assembly as it comes from them. Uh, you know, pretty straightforward spring return in case something falls apart. You don't want the choke going closed. So we can take these parts and we'll modify it to look like this. Uh, the only thing we have to add for this is uh, this little 632 screw. Um, we're basically going to take the parts here. Uh, we're going to take the, the main arm and we're going to cut this side of it off. We don't need that. And then a half inch off the center, we're going to drill a hole for the 632 screw. You got to reclock this arm so that it works in this direction. It's just a simple shaft, uh, spline shaft there that you can reposition everything for. Um, so you're gonna, we're going to cut that off. And then this other arm here, we're going to cut it off and then bend it up to, to hold the spring. Okay, you can see that there. And it's just a real simple, you know, over center spring, pretty straightforward uh, setup. So, uh, real light, doesn't add any weight. Uh, this is for hand propping, obviously. If you've got electric start, you're just going to run a cable to the cockpit. But I uh, wanted to pass this along. Thanks.